All right, now let's work with the structure of our data a little bit because we've got more data we need to add to this. So we have name and ID. I'm going to go ahead and actually clear these out and just leave the one. We'll use this as a sample. Okay, so we need to add a new key. Date start. And what we're going to use for this project is the, uh, the Unix timestamp, which is uh, how many seconds since, I always forget the date, January 1st, 1970. This is a nice clean way to get the date um, and a nice way to order things if you need to. Um, so I'm just going to use this as our current, as the start time. Place that there. We need an end date. Which we're going to leave blank. Just assuming that this task hasn't ended yet. And we're going to do a status. And we're going to make that one. Now, when we're using integers, actually, we don't need the quotes. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those on the numbers here. There we go. Okay, let's save that. Refresh. So we've just got the one task. Now let's plop in the, uh, the data we need here. So I'll go over to log. Now just like when we were doing MySQL, we just need to pretty much copy this. We just need to change out the key. It should be date start. And next one will be date end. And the total, that's going to be different. Let's go ahead and save this. Take a look at our data here. All right, so we've got this timestamp. So we need to do something with this timestamp. And we're going to convert it into a nicer looking date. So let's go to our functions.php and we'll create a new function to do that. And uh, I'm just going to call this, let's see, I'll define it as a function. I'm going to call it date nicer. Basically for nice looking. Some people use the word fancy. And we'll send it the date or timestamp. And all we really need to do is return using the date function. And I'm going to do month, day, year, hour, minute, and the AM or PM. And then the second parameter is that date that we're sending it. Save that. Back over to end uh, over to log, and for this right here, we'll wrap this in a date nice function. So that's going to run that date nice function we just created using that timestamp, and it's going to return the fancier looking date. Save that. Refresh. There you go. November fifth, four fifty seven. Sorry, this hour should be a G, because I don't want that leading zero. Save that. Fresh. There we go. 